Aux bilai wa shaitan wa jim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I welcome you all to Alikan's Islamic YouTube channel where we discuss issues that over around Islam and learn more about our religion. I am your brother Mustafa Dewan. Allah will welcome. Inshallah today we want to look at another important topic uh, which is Afatul Lisan, the evils of the tongue. Uh, this will be discussed by one of our Ustaz, in person of our Ustaz, Umar Ismail. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for him and accept it from him as perfect act of Ibadah. Salaamu alaikum. Kindly subscribe to our page and click on notification bell so that you'll be notified about our next video. A'udhu billahi sami'u al-alim min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا من سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن اتبع أثارهم واستسن بسنتهم وسلك مسلكهم لا يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم الحمد لله رب العالمين. We give thanks to Allah سبحانه وتعالى the Lord of the world. We thank Him for all His blessings and mercies upon us. We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى in His infinite mercy to bless the noblest of mankind. Muhammad bin Abdullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. His household, his companions, and the generator of Muslims. So the day of reckoning, Allahumma Amin. Uh, my name is Mark Ismail. I welcome you to another episode of Ramadan series. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our deeds in this Ramadan. Allahumma sallim lana Ramadan. Otasallamhu minna mutakubbala. Allahumma Amin. Today, inshallah, we'll be looking at a very important topic, which some people do not see as very important, but it is very, very much important. Uh, the topic uh, of our discussion today, inshallah, is the evil of the tongue. The evil of the tongue, subhanallah. Some people do not realize how important the tongue is to our life. How important the tongue is um, as a determinant of where every human being will end up on the day of judgment. The tongue will determine how rise our place in Jannah may be. And at the same time, determine how deep in hell some people will end their life and I have to be like, we ask not to make us among those set of people. And when we are talking about the evil of the tongue, there are a lot of evils that can be committed by the tongue. Uh, when we talk about backbiting, lying, slandering, lying on the prophets, lying on Allah, giving a false testimony, and a lot of them like that, abusing people, cursing people, uh, beating people with our tongue. Because when you curse people, it is practically you beating them uh, with your tongue. Those are some of the evils that can be committed with our tongue. And as a Muslim, we should try in as much as possible to desist from this. As Allah SWT himself has warned us against them in the Quran. And the Prophet SAW has also warned us against them in his traditions and his narrations. The Prophet SAW said in Al-Hadith, when he went for the famous and the known Israel and Ma'raj, when Allah SWT called upon him to come with uh, Malaku Jibreel, to come and receive the Quran, uh, to come and receive the Salah that we pray today. The journey um, is divided into two, and Isra is the first part, while Ma'raj is the second part. And Isra was the journey from Mecca to Beit al -Makdis. That is when um, Malaku Jibreel and the Prophet mounted on al Barak from the city of Mecca to the city of Jerusalem, where Betul Makdis is, and they met the different um, prophets and messengers that have been sent before the prophet. Before they did the second one to the seventh heaven to meet our Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah SWT said in the Quran, subhanahu wa ta'ala, bi abdihi laylan min al masjid al-haram ila al masjid al-aqsa um, in Surah al -Isra. So on getting to the seventh heaven, the Prophet ﷺ saw different things. He saw a lot of things. And part of what he saw, Allah showed him 
those that will be in Janna, they are qualities, and what will make them enter Janna. Same as those that will be in Jahannam, the different other, the different punishments that have been created for them and for the different evil and sins they've committed on the surface of the earth. So last one, Allah now showed the Prophet. First said, I saw some people, they were wiping off their faces and their chest with their claws, the claws on the hand, their hands. They were using to wipe off the fleshes on their faces and their chest. And the Prophet said, asked Jibreel, who are this set of people? Jibreel said, those are the slanderers. When they are on the surface of the earth, they use their mouth, they use their tongue to slander people, to destroy people's um, heritage, to destroy people's personality, to destroy people's name, call them things that they are not, devise and cook up stories that they that are not true about them and lie about them. Subhanallah. Today, most of us involve in things like this unknowingly. Now, even with the advent of technology, we think, okay, I do, I, I, I'm not lying about somebody, I'm not cursing someone, I'm not saying bad things about them physically. But online, what is, uh, how is our online presence? How is it different from this set of things that we've said? A lot of people today hide behind their keyboard. They abuse people online, they troll people in form of, they think everything is, they call it coarse. They feel everything is about joke. They lie about people, accuse people of false claims, curse them, abuse them online, and they call them trolls, which a Muslim should not indulge in. So that is telling us that as a Muslim, we should always be wary of our actions, especially of those that we say with our tongue. Because um, on the day of judgment, Allah SWT made us understand that it is not only the actions of our hands that will be judged on. We'll be judged on the actions that we do with our mouth as well. Allah SWT said in the Quran that my health will be calling illa la dehi wa There's nothing that you say on the surface of the earth. Illa la dehi wa Except those two angels that have been assigned to us on our right and our left um, sides to record our good deeds, put it down in their record. Illa la dehi wa They put it on their record. And on the day of judgment, Allah will tell you, the things that you've said, that you thought, oh, I just said it and, and that does not matter. It matters in the face of Allah. It matters a lot. On the day of judgment, Allah will give everyone their book. And Allah will say, Eko kitab kafara binafsika liyawma alika hasiba. Read your book today. Allah Akbar, subhanallah. Kafara binafsika liyawma alika hasiba. You are enough as a judge in your own situation. Take the book and read it. Everybody will collect their book. Those that have done evil, committed evil with their tongue, they'll be saying, Mali have al kitab. Which kind of book is this? La yugade usagiratan, wa la kebiratan, illa ahsoha. It does, it did not even leave the smallest of sins. I just abused him within five seconds. I just sent um, a swear word on Twitter. For how many seconds? This book has recorded it. Mali had al kitab. La yugade usagiratan, wa la kebiratan, illa ahsoha. So they will be so uh, perplexed on the day. And that is because Allah SWT is Sergei al Hisab. That's one of the features of Allah. On that day, the judgment will be swift and so quick. Because everyone will be their own judge on that day. Allah will just ask you, read your book. Do you, I, do you have any objection against the ruling that has been put in the book and the records that have been put there? They will say no. And Allah will say, okay, find your way into Jahannam. For those of us, inshallah, that will be the image of Jannah. Allah will say, proceed to Jannah. May Allah SWT count us among those that will enter Jannah. And one of the qualities of the Mu'minun, when Allah SWT was reading out their qualities, the things that you see in a Mu'min and you know they are a Mu'min, Allah SWT said in the Quran that, وَإِذَا مَقْهُ بِاللَّقْوِ مَقْهُ كَرَامًا Whenever they walk past those that say evil things, that say things that are evil, Maybe they are singing illicit song, they were backbiting somebody, they were lying on Allah one or Tala, they were saying different things that are evil. Magu Keroma. They pass respectfully. They do not engage in that. They do not become a participant in such evil act or be a participant in such evil uh, gathering. We should take note of that as well. And Allah one Tala, uh, when he was also talking about his merciful servant, servant, when Allah was talking about the merciful servant of Ar-Rahman, 
على سورة الله سيد عباد الرحمن الذين يمشون على الأرض هونا وإذا خطبهم الجاهلون قالوا سلاما The excuses some people give to engage in evil talks is that Oh, they said bad thing to me So will I just be looking at them? Will I not respond? Allah said وإذا إذا خطبهم الجاهلون The merciful servant, the servant of the merciful Lord Whenever a jahil, an ignorant person Talks to them in a bad manner Qalu salama. They return, they give their own response in peace, which means they say good things back to them, not bad things. They will not fight to them. Even when we are in the month of Ramadan, the first salam urged us. He said, Why that kind of you saw me ahadikum on the day of fasting of any of you? Fala yak futh, wala yes khob, wa in sabba u ahadun, fal yakul, au kotana hum fal yakul in the moon so him, in the moon so him. On the day of fasting of any of you, you should not say bad things, you should not curse, you should not swear for anyone. If anyone swears for you or curses you on this particular day, or make advances towards you to fight you, could say to that person, in the moment saw him, I'm a fasting person. Subhanallah. That means even when you are fasting, both when you are fasting and when you are not fasting, you are not to engage in a bad response to anyone that says uh, anything bad to us. So Allah SWT continued um, in the, when it was telling us the attributes of um, the Ibadu Rahman, um, he said, Why the Maghu Billah with Maghu Kirama? Now, the first one in Surah Al Mu'minun was, Alladina Hum and Allah with Ma'aridun. There are those that whenever they see Allah, whether illicit song, whether um, lying, whether uh, uh, somebody giving false testimony, they go against it. They do not engage in it. They they swerve their direction away from it. They move on to do uh, good things. So the Prophet said in another hadith that the Bible Muslim for Sok, abusing a Muslim is a, an illicit act. For Sok, which is uh, abusing someone is fiscal. An illicit act that a mu'min or a Muslim should not engage in. The Prophet Sallallahu said in another narration that Muslim al Muslim, whoever we can call someone we can call a Muslim, Muslim al Muslim, yadihi. It is whom who people are saved from um, the bad act of his hand, while he and his tongue as well. Not somebody that will be abusing people. People will be running away from such person because ah, if you cause his path, he will swear for you, he will abuse you, he will say things, bad things about you, he's a slanderer, and people will run away from such person. Such person is an evil person and is not a good Muslim. And as Muslims, we should desist from engaging in acts uh, like that. And uh, one of the things that do cause people to make mistakes or to engage in evil talks or evil um actions with their tongue is that whenever Umar bin Khattab said whenever you engage in a lot of talks whenever you say a lot of things you end up making a lot of mistakes he said if you engage in a lot of talks at the end of the day you engage in a, you fall in a lot of errors everything that comes up you want to say something about it you have opinion about everything we always want to say something as Muslims we should not always want to say something we should economize our speech. We should be cultured in our action. We should be cultured in our speech. We should not engage in everything that goes up online. Not everything you say something about. As a responsible Muslim, your words should be minimal. Should be uh, we should have more of a thick than just frivolities and saying things that uh, that are what's not. So uh, on the note of a thick, that is where we'll be ending it. If we commit a lot of errors with our mouth and with our tongue and it can get us to Jahannam. May Allah SWT forbid us from that. Then if we engage in a lot of dhik, it can get, earn us a lot of reward as well. What the Salaam said on the day of judgment, some people will come to Allah SWT and Allah will give them the record of their good, uh, of their actions on the surface of the earth. They will look at it and find out that some of the bad things they've done are unrecorded. They've been, they are missing in the book and they ask Allah, I did so, 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 but I could not find them in my book today. The first Sam said, they are evil on the surface of the earth. Their bad date on the surface of the earth will be as big as a mountain of Tehama. And on getting to Allah SWT, 
Allah would have taken everything out. They ask Allah, Allah would say, those things have been erased with the adhkar you engaged in. The tasbihat, the subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa akbar, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. The different remembers of Allah that you engage in, Allah have used them to erase your sins, Allah akbar. So we should see this as an opportunity to replace the bad things that we say with the good ones. So that Allah SWT will use our tongue as an hujjah for us on the day of judgment and we use it as an opportunity for us to enter Jannah and not uh, Jahannam. May Allah SWT um, not count us among those that the Prophet said they will be doing what Yahmishona uju ahum wa sudu ahum. May Allah SWT count us among those that will continuously remember, remember him in our speech and make those a hujjah for us on the day of judgment. Inna huwa la dhalika qadir wa bil ijabat jadir wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون